the next topic is voltage divider bias configuration so we are doing so we are doing configuration for the bjt by using voltage divider method what is this voltage divider method we are generally biasing means we are giving the supply but giving supply will be divided so up to now we discussed about the biasing different different biasing here if you observe here just this is our just this is our look at here this is our <coughs> bjt in this bjt we are giving the supply from vcc here vcc given supply will be divided that means we have r1 and r2 both will be divided so the given supply will be distributed through r1 as well as r2 what is this meaning this meaning is the same supply giving supply will be the same voltage will be distributed across this branch and across the this branch so by using this we have more advantages how it works we will discuss here in this the this is the circuit the circuit can be modified like this that means this vcc separately given to this branch and this vc separately given to this branch so vcc r1 r2 and this is the rc this is re this is the re the supply will be separately given this spot supply will be separately given to this spot here the current flow from this point is the ic the current entering from the base is ib and current leaving from the emitter is the ie these are the resistances again we can modify the circuit like this because this vcc is the separate branch look at here this is the separate branch and this can be divided separate branch just take it as the separate branch okay and here supply vcc will be given to r1 and r2 just we are modifying the circuit just we are modifying the circuit so if you observe here we can modify the circuit into v thevenin's and r thevenin's we can convert the circuit into the thevenin's model this is the thevenin's model so here it will give the voltage and it will give the r thevenin's and it will give the load so this is the load assume this is the load so by using this phenomena we will find out we will modify the circuit into v thevenin's and r thevenin's form that that means it will be converted into the thevenin's model so for that purpose we have to find out v thevenin's and i thevenin's first this is the load remove the load and this is we have to find out the r thevenin's so just you, we need to write r thevenin's here so r thevenin's is nothing but remove the load and these are parallelly connected so r1 parallelly connected to r2 by doing the calculation we will get thevenin's voltage equal to r1 into r2 by r1 plus r2 so this is the thevenin's voltage and what is the current it is the current flowing through the circuit just assume this is the current i flowing in the circuit this is the current flowing in the circuit assume that so from that you can write the current equation also the current equation is current in this equation i in current value equal to just write vcc by r1 plus r2 r1 plus r2 from that we can find out v thevenin's v thevenin's means voltage across this branch voltage across this branch so i can write v thevenin's equal to current into resistance so we know this is the r2 and i value is this vcc by r1 plus r2 i r1 plus r2 so we can modify the circuit like this from this 
we can apply the so just substitute this with evidence and rth evidence in the circuit we will get we will get this circuit so we will get the this circuit right so by using this circuit now we will find out current and voltages so by using the circuit just apply the loop equation in the circuit just apply the loop equation so we can write the loop equation here that is v th evidence minus this is this current flowing this is the base current flowing into this base current into r th evidence minus vbe minus ie re drop across emitter equals to zero so from this we know the relation between the emitter current and the base current that is emitter current equal to emitter current equal to 1 plus beta times of emitter current equal to 1 plus beta times of base current right so here substitute this emitter current value in this equation we will find out the equation can be modified like this v th evidence base current into r th evidence minus vbe emitter current equal to 1 plus beta into ib in emitter resistance will be equals to zero so from this we can find out base current value that base current ib equals to v th evidence minus vbe by R the evidence plus one plus beta into R e one plus beta into R e. So this is the base current. From this we can write the collector current. From this we can write the collector current. The collector current will be equal to beta times of I b. This is the direct formula. Beta times of I b. Here this is the beta. What is IB value? IB value is the evidence voltage minus base emitter voltage by the evidence resistance 1 plus beta into emitter resistance. This is the collector current. And from this, it is possible. So, by observing the collector current, it is possible simply that is here R the evidence will be very very less than 1 plus beta re it is possible because our evidence in in our hand generally so from this we can modify the collector current is like this the collector current equal to beta times of v th evidence minus base emitter voltage by 1 plus beta into emitter resistance here beta 1 plus beta both are cancelled from this we can write Finally, collector current is like this. Collector current equal to V th evidence minus base emitter voltage by emitter resistance. Base emitter voltage by emitter resistance. So, so in our point of view, always collector current doesn't depends on the beta. So, look at here. We have the collector current. It doesn't depends on the beta. Okay. This is our intention. Our main intention is to Character current doesn't depends on beta. Dep doesn't depends on beta. It is possible by this voltage divided circuit. It is possible by the voltage divided circuit. Okay. And this is the but we can write the voltage equation also current equation is completed from this we can write the voltage equation the voltage equation is just apply the loop equation for output apply loop equation for output so if you observe here so if you apply the loop equation for this so look at the diagram 
this is the output loop just directly write the loop equation so from that I will directly write here just check it later that loop equation is like this that is VCC minus collector drop ICRC minus collector emitter voltage emitter drop is equals to zero but you know that emitter current approximately equal to the collector current so from this we can write VCC minus IC RC plus RE VCE is equals to zero from this collector emitter voltage is nothing but biasing voltage minus drop across resistor as well as emitter this is the collector emitter voltage nothing but this is the output voltage this is the output voltage so we are getting collector voltage as well as this voltage so this is the required thing so we have by the circuit we have some advantages so let us discuss some advantages of this circuit so in this first advantage is it is mostly used because R evidence is combination of R1 and R2 it is mostly used we have mostly used because R evidence has is combination of R1 and R2 combination of R1 and R2 so by using this these two combination it is possible that's why it is very very useful and main intention is to always to make our biasing circuit intention is to to make IC is independent of beta generally this is the general condition independent of beta so for that condition here R evidence is very very less than 1 plus beta times of Rb okay or we can we can write the another equation that is it is possible the other case another case is the other case is that is base resistance is very very less than 1 plus beta times of R or RE you can take RE RB so this is any condition it is possible so R evidence here the R evidence R1 parallel to R2 is better than the RB is better than the RB to decrease the resistance to decrease the resistance okay so we have that's why it is very very important and very very useful biasing circuit very very useful very 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 important and useful biasing circuits so that's why in the in the all biasing circuits voltage divided biasing configuration is mostly important biasing configuration okay okay i think all of you understand the session thank you